Welcome to the first step of your journey where we delve into the seven habits of highly effective people. This highly acclaimed masterpiece by Stephen R. Covey is a reservoir of transformative principles that can transform your perspective about life. Today, we're immersing ourselves into two of these remarkable principles, proactivity and understanding others. Proactivity is more than taking the first step or being the one to initiate. It's about grasping the understanding that we are the ones responsible for causing things to happen in our lives. It's the epiphany that the authority to mold our life's narrative isn't dictated by external situations or circumstances, but it's an intrinsic power. So when life presents you with hurdles or roadblocks, remember you're not a marionette being maneuvered by unseen hands. You possess the power to determine your reaction and that is a potent tool. Here's a practical tip to start your day. Start with a crystal clear intention. Make a note of the most significant challenge you anticipate in your day and strategize a positive response to it. You'll be astonished by the degree to which you can command your life's narrative when you adopt this approach. Now let's transition to understanding others. As Covey expressed, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Sounds like a straightforward concept, right? But it's a bit more layered than it appears. It's about empathy, about experiencing reality from someone else's viewpoint before you attempt to articulate your own perspective. It's about active, engaged, listening. So, the next time you engage in a dialogue with someone, try this. Devote your complete attention to grasping the other person's point of view before expressing your own. Observe a substantial enhancement in the quality of your communication and in relationships. So, there you have it folks. Two impactful habits that can fundamentally reconstruct the fabric of your proactivity thrusts you into the driver's seat of your life, granting you the authority to navigate your reactions. Understanding others cultivates empathy, augmenting your communication abilities, enriching your relationships, and allowing you to connect with others on a deeper level. Remember, the key to transformation begins with a proactive mindset and understanding others. Moving forward, we dive into the atomic habits to comprehend the profound potential of minor, unremitting actions. In a society that seems to be infatuated with significant milestones and towering achievements, James Clear, the esteemed author of Atomic Habits, presents a refreshing alternative viewpoint. He champions the thought that massive accomplishments do not always stem from people who are engrossed in colossal dreams, but rather from those who pay heed to modest, daily deeds. Consider for example the concept of the two-minute rule. This rule, albeit straightforward, is incredibly potent in its efficacy. It basically proposes the idea of fragmenting your ambitions into tasks that can be initiated in two minutes or less. The true brilliance of this rule is reflected in its capacity to simplify the commencement of a new habit to such an extent that it becomes nearly impossible to refuse. Take for instance, your aspiration to read more. Instead of setting an ambitious target of finishing a book a week, commence by reading merely a single page every day. This negligible task requires less than two minutes, but it effectively inculcates the habit of reading on a regular basis. However, have you ever contemplated the importance of the environment you are situated in? Clear posits that your surroundings can have a profound influence on your actions and behaviors. This introduces us to the idea of environment design. The basic premise of this concept is that you have the ability to mold your surroundings in such a manner that it becomes almost inevitable to adhere to good habits while making it extremely challenging to succumb to bad ones. For instance, if goal is to adopt healthier eating habits, start by stocking your refrigerator with nutritious snacks and place them at the most visible spot. This ensures that every time you open the fridge, the first thing that catches your eye is the healthier option, thereby making it more instinctive for you to reach for it. The strength of these modest, consistent actions is amplified by their cumulative effect. Just like a snowball that gradually increases in size and speed as it tumbles down a slope, the impact of your habits also progressively accumulates over time. A minute alteration today could potentially lead to a drastically different scenario tomorrow. Therefore, it is crucial not to trivialize the significance of small victories. They serve as the stepping stones that pave the way towards achievement. As per the eloquent words of James Clear, habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. Small deeds, when compounded over time, can lead to monumental transformations. Design your surroundings to bolster your journey. Small actions compound over time, leading to big transformations. Design your surroundings to support your journey. Now let's delve into the mind's depths with the wisdom of Carl Jung. This eminent psychologist from Switzerland introduced us to a groundbreaking idea, the concept of the shadow self. 
This is believed to be a hidden portion within our unconscious mind, which contains characteristics we're often hesitant to recognize or acknowledge in ourselves. Interestingly, the twist lies in the fact that acknowledging and integrating this shadow, rather than constantly suppressing it, can lead us to a better understanding of ourselves and our life's purpose. Picture your shadow as some sort of hidden vault, locked away deep within your psyche. It is packed with elements of your personality you've consciously deemed unwelcome or undesirable and chosen to stash away from plain sight. These might include negative traits like envy, selfishness, or uncontrolled anger. However, paradoxically, hidden within this same shadow are dormant strengths, suppressed creativity, and a wealth of wisdom just waiting to be discovered. Jung firmly believed that for us to truly realize our whole potential, we need to identify and integrate this shadow part of ourselves into our conscious self. The key isn't about justifying negative traits or behaviors, but exploring and understanding that they are an integral part of our multifaceted human complexity. By shedding light on our shadow, we can gain deeper insight into our reactions, learn to regulate our impulses, and develop a more sincere and honest relationship with ourselves. In essence, acknowledging our shadow is akin to having a deep, intense conversation with a stranger who, with time, turns out to be an old friend in disguise. So what's the first step to start this conversation? A practical approach towards integrating your shadow is through the simple act of journaling. Consider writing about certain traits you usually detest in others, and then deeply reflect on how these might be mirroring certain aspects of your own personality. This process isn't meant to provide comfort, but it's a necessary step towards self-discovery and self-acceptance. Gaining a deeper understanding of our shadow helps us understand that we aren't just the positive traits we consciously project. We are a complex blend of both light and dark, and accepting this duality brings us a step closer to attaining wholeness and authenticity. Always remember, self-understanding isn't a destination. It's a winding road, a journey. It's about constant learning, continual personal growth, and unending self-acceptance. By integrating our shadow, we're not only accepting our flaws, but also unlocking our true potential. Embracing all parts of yourself, even those you wish to hide, is a profound step towards self-understanding and purpose. Other influential works also offer valuable insights for our journey. One of the most profound tools that can drastically improve your focus, dedication, and productivity is Deep Work by Cal Newport. This revolutionary book introduces us to an entirely new concept, a state of hyper-focused concentration called deep work. In this state of elevated focus, we can produce work of exceptional quality in significantly less time. The philosophy of deep work is not about working harder, but rather, it's about working in a more deliberate, intelligent, and effective manner. By setting aside dedicated time slots for deep, uninterrupted concentration, we can achieve remarkable progress towards our goals. But how can we envisage this concept in our day-to-day -day lives? The answer is simple. Start by carving out a two-hour window of deep work time each day. During this period, switch off all potential distractions and allow yourself to plunge into your work with full focus and dedication. It's surprising how much you can achieve when you wholly devote yourself to a single task. Next in line, we delve into the transformative teachings of The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. This enlightening book emphasizes the paramount importance of staying present, experiencing the now, and not getting entangled in the past or the future. We often find ourselves consumed by past failures or anxieties about the future, forgetting to truly live in the present moment. By fostering mindfulness and living in the now, we can significantly improve our focus, reduce stress levels, and increase our appreciation for life. So how do we cultivate this state of mindfulness? It starts with incorporating a simple practice of five minutes of mindfulness meditation on a daily basis. During this period, shift all your focus to your breathing and the sensations coursing through your body. This practice not only anchors you in the present but also amplifies your focus and mental clarity. The philosophies embedded within deep work and the power of now are not just strategies or techniques, they are transformative experiences that can have a deep-seated impact on your journey towards achieving your goals. They offer a different perspective on success. It's not just about reaching an end goal, but also about cherishing the journey and growing with every step. Always remember, deep focus and mindfulness are potent tools that can propel you forward on your path to success. Think of your journey as a hero's quest. 
Each sunrise heralds a new chapter, a fresh challenge, an opportunity ripe for growth. The strategies we've discussed today aren't merely theoretical constructs, they are practical tools, guiding stars on your voyage to success. Reflect on the wisdom of Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Proactivity purely about action, it's about choice. The authority to tailor reaction to life's hurdles sits within you. And making an effort to understand others before demanding to be understood? That's the cornerstone of flourishing relationships and effective communication. Now remember James Clear's Atomic Habits. The two-minute rules magic unfolds that even the highest peaks of goals can be dismantled into attainable bite-sized tasks. And modifying your surroundings to reinforce your habits? That's laying the groundwork for success. In addition, we can't overlook the fascination of Carl Jung's teachings. Accepting even the darkest corners of your psyche is pivotal to self-recognition and personal evolution. Furthermore, we've learned from other influential literature. Methods for profound, concentrated work from Cal Newport and mindfulness strategies from Eckhart Tolle offer priceless tools for your expedition. But bear in mind these strategies are not a standard, universal guide. They are malleable tools to be utilized in ways that enhance your distinct journey. It's about employing these tools, carve your path, confront your dragons, and uncover your gems. The real puzzle is, how will you deploy these tools? How will you navigate your journey? Will you embrace the day with unambiguous intentions, listen attentively to comprehend, fragment your objectives into two-minute tasks, construct an environment conducive to success, accept your shadows, allocate time for focused work, and dwell in the power of the present moment? In conclusion, with this in mind, your trajectory to success is solely charted and navigated by you. These practices are not mere suggestions, they're quintessential tools in constructing your own grand narrative. They are the compass guiding you towards your future, the sword aiding you in your battles, and the key opening doors to your potential. After all, the hero of this narrative isn't a far-off entity, the hero is you.